Hello everyone. Today we will see how to simulate two phase flow. In this case we will solve the droplet rays in through the continuous medium. For the solving we took one example. Here the we see the three droplets. So we will consider this as oil and here the continuous phase that will be the our water and at the top the oil is there so as we see here so things are happening in this case is this water will this droplet will travel toward upside upward direction due to their lower in density so the buoyancy force will act on this so uh, to consider the physics we need to consider two things first is the laminar flow that will tell about the the movement of water droplet in upward direction that will be explained by the laminar flow physics and so uh, during the uh, upward movement the the interface this between the droplet between this oil and water need to be maintained so that will be solved by the level set interface this will be set solved by the level set interface okay so this laminar flow we will see the what are the equation we will consider to solve the laminar flow for solving laminar flow we will consider two things one will be the conservation of mass plus and second thing will be the conservation of momentum so in this case there is no heat transfer so we will not consider the conservation of heat transfer so solving the conservation of mass we will consider well known equation that is a continuity equation continuity equation and solving the conservation of momentum we will consider well known equation navier stokes equation right the equation that is used for continuity equation is del rho by del t plus the versions of del u equals to 0 here rho represents the density in this case we in laminar flow uh, we use the incompressible fluid so the value of this will be the zero so we can take it out and simply we can write this as a continuity equation in navier stokes equation we will use the equation rho del rho del u by del t plus rho u divergence bracket u equals to divergence of minus pi plus k plus f 
okay so here the row represent the density this is our density u represent the velocity and the u del u and divergence of p i plus k plus f so here p is the pressure i will write here p is pressure which unit will be the pascal i is the identity matrix it's unitless and uh, our k will be so I will define k here k equals 2 so I will define here k is uh, viscous stress tensor viscous stress tensor and unit is it's uh, just a pascal and f is the volume force vector unit will be the newton per meter cube so this is the navier stoke equation that we will solve here one more thing we need to consider is uh, here we have two phase so we will represent phi uh, to represent uh, a phase and uh, there will be two phase 0 and 1 so 0 we will consider for the oil and one we will consider for the water okay so we will solve this in comsol let's go to comsol multiphysics so here we are this model model wizard we will select the 2d in this case we will go to the fluid flow and we will see the multi-phase flow and then we need to check whether we have there are various two-phase flow we have to find the level set two-phase flow so here we have level set two-phase flow So we'll select the laminar flow. We'll add this one into the study. We will consider the time dependent with phase initialization. So we will define the unit of geometry in centimeter. We'll let's take width 3 and height will be the 6 and build selected okay and then we will sketch a circle so let's sketch droplet one circle over here well randomly I'm draw I'm drawing this one okay so I have draw, drawn three circle as a droplet I'll also draw one rectangle to represent oil phase I haven't considered proper dimension you may do this so once I have done so this is our setup next thing we need to add the material so we'll right click on it And now we will go to somewhere down here liquid and gas in this we will go again liquid and first thing we need to add water second thing we will take 
transformer oil okay so here transformer oil okay so this is the oil and come to the laminar flow in laminar flow first thing we need to consider is the gravity because then only we will use the buoyancy force and second thing there is no inlet and outlet in laminar flow then definitely we need to consider one pressure point constraint we can take any point so that we have done and next thing we so for the zero we consider the oil and for flow two we will consider the water and next we need to fluid one will be the our oil and uh, fluid two will be the water once again i will recheck it fluid one that is zero it's our oil okay so weighted wall these are our what weighted wall okay we have done the all required information we develop a mesh and we will compute it and uh, before computing uh, I will solve this for three second or I will put it for five second and I'll compute it so here we can see that the console has solved the problem so first we will see the volume fraction in our case as we can see the initial stage is this as we go droplet move bit so we will make a player so we can animate this one as we can see here So number of frame is uh, too less so we it's very difficult so we will increase it to 50 and then we will so now we can see that that this has solved the problem for us so this is how we can uh, simulate uh, droplet rays in two-phase flow thank you so much